It looks like the young star of the Harvey Potter series is going to be showing off his wand to London's West End this month in his all natural stage debut, performing in the play Mopquist. Uh, well, it's this really great play, and uh, there's there's great great moments. Uh, I I start off as a janitor. I get a job as a janitor, and I, uh, I I start to get a little lonely, and so I make friends with the different cleaning supplies, and uh, one of them. Uh, Especially, it's a mop named Helga, and uh, I, I just start to admire Helga and and uh, all the things that she stands for, and and all the stuff she does. You know, she cleans up other people's crap, and she and she just keeps on taking it. You know, especially right in the face. Why did I choose Bryce Cohn for this role? Well, <laughs> why does one choose anyone? Firm buttocks, certainly talent. Mm -hmm. I think from a creative standpoint, this won't affect Bryce's career one way or the other. I think the problem comes into play when we discuss his incontinence issues. I mean, the man has urinary problems. He's going to be leaving puddles all over the stage, and fellow actors and actresses that he's working with could fall, slip, trip, and hurt themselves. But, oh, but you know, then again, he is just working with a mop, so he should be okay. The young star's decision to appear in this play has not been without controversy, mainly due to the fact that he'll be required to have a love scene with a mop, completely in the buff. Oh, nude scene. Oh, right. A nude scene. Yeah, I'm, I'm 17, man. There's no way that would happen. My big nude scene. Man, you guys are great. Uh, well, I'll play along with that. You know, I'm just, uh... Oh, I'm a professional, of course. I mean, I'd, I'd show my genitals to anyone. On the street. They ask me for it. I'll be like, hey, I'm acting. See? I'll drop my trial right there. But you realize there really is a nude scene in the play, right? Are you serious? Why is Bryce Cohn surprised that there's nudity in the play? Well, it's obvious. The boy has the sense of a pushpin. In fact, everyone in the world seemed to know about the nudity in the play before Cohn ever had a clue. Every news site, message board, and fan blog has been buzzing about it for months. Oh boy, I get about a billion emails a day wanting to see the guy in his birthday suit. And about 23 a day wanting to see me in mine. Well, if you look back through the history of cinema, I think you'll find that two of our greatest male actors actually pulled this off. They appeared without their bottoms in many, many scenes, in many works, and their careers took off. They made millions and millions of dollars. Of course, I'm referring to Winnie the Pooh and Donald Duck. But once he got over the shock of the news, the young wizard acquiesced to a sultry photo shoot to publicize the play, and our cameras were allowed exclusive access. Look, yeah. what? Didn't they tell you? Oh my, what's all this? It, what's this look? What? I mean, this looks like a family of caterpillars just up and died here on your on your belly. It's, it's, it's just natural, baby. It's just it's me. I got a hairy chest, like like it looks that a, like a beaver has died on my body, and. Uh, you know, I'm not ashamed of it. Start off just with the basic stuff, you know, just like looking off into the distance, you know, looking all serious and, and uh, you know, getting that strength in you. And I just, I was able to hold Helga close to my face like this. And I went in for a kiss, for a nice soft kiss. And then we went in for a more passionate kiss. And then, and then, uh, we, uh, and then, you know, he had me riding Helga for some reason, like, like a child. And, and you know what, for, if I hadn't been paid loads of money, I wouldn't have done it. Well, obviously the first problem we had was getting him naked, and now that he is naked, we can't get him to put his clothes back on, and it's causing several problems. He's showing up to the press junkets completely nude. Uh, the custodial staff is frightened. And, you know, I appreciate, you know, his dedication to the role, but let's face it, I know what the part requires. I played the role myself when I went to, you know, whole community college. Very, very risque. I, as a man, would not want myself compared to that lengthy mop handle. And Bryce really has issues in that area, so I think these are very unflattering shots. Now that I've seen the photos and the out and they're all over the place, and just, I just can't believe people are making such a big deal out of it. I can't believe I made such a big deal out of it. For those assorted pervers out there who wish to see the fuzzy lad naked in person, you'll have a difficult time, as seating is extremely limited. Well, many people have complained that it's a small venue, you know, it only seats three people, but 
that's the nature of this play. Um, not more than three people can handle the intensity of it or handle seeing Bryce Cohn naked. I'm going to play for those three people just like they're the, the, the three billion people that, that, that see the Harvey Potter movies. Even if no one was there, I'd still do it. Even, even if it was just like, like, like some, some, some Wolverines in there, I'd still just totally play it as, as, as my character. Oh, I think if you look back through the history of motion pictures, you'll find that controversies over male genitalia only serve to enhance a film's reputation and, and make its legacy that much more impressive. I mean, have you seen Porky's? Have you seen the shower scene? How can anyone deny that movie is not right up there with Citizen Kane? Well, sure. I mean, this is a pretty extreme role for him. But I don't think people will forget it's Harvey Putter just because you've seen his junk. Although, it might give an added perspective when you see him practicing with his wand underneath the blankets. There's lots of people that are saying that, that they can't believe that I'm doing this and that I'm ruining the Harvey Potter series, but uh, you know, they're, they're just full of crap because they're going to come see the movie anyway. They're, they're diehard fans. and So the, I don't think that this, these nude photos that you see will really be a, a problem because uh, the, people may be turned away right now, but they're, they're just, they're, they love the series and so they'll just be back for it. I mean, they're whores for that kind of stuff. Well, I think that Bryce Cohn will go far in the theatre because he's certainly one individual that, you know, I've found will do virtually anything for money. My advice to, to young actors is to just go for it because uh, I had a sweet thing with Harvey Potter. I really did. I could have retired uh, and, and lived very comfortably with, with all the money I made off of that, but I, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to stretch my bounds and, and so you know if, if someone asks you to, to cover yourself in peanut butter and, and dance a polka while, while, while eating kielbasas then just do it you know if, if someone asks you to, to put on some clown shoes and, and put on a Shirley Temple wig and, and to dance around just, just do it if someone asks you to, to, to eat a whole pie with, with, that is made of feces just, just do it you know you'll learn to to appreciate what you've done and you'll just regret it for the rest of your life if you just never took that chance. And speaking of manure, that about wraps it up for this evening's edition of The Rubbish Bin. This is Jenkin Johnson saying good evening.